हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट ट्वेंटी अर्बन इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर एंड आवर टॉपिक इज डायमेंशंस ऑफ द अर्बन इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर इन इंडिया वर्कर्स इन द इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर डू नॉट गेट मोस्ट ऑफ द सिक्योरिटी गिवन टू फॉर्मल सेक्टर वर्कर्स देयर जॉब्स आर इनसिक्योर as most of the laws do not protect them though in principle labor laws in india are expected to apply to all section of industrial labor there are inbuilt provisions which exclude large sections of the labor force the most important law regulating work in industries is the factory act all other laws such as employees state insurance act workmen's compensation act provident fund and family pension act payment of gratuity act apply only to establishment covered by the factory act this act is applicable only to manufacturing units which employ a minimum of 10 workers and which use power in manufacturing and a minimum of 20 workers if the unit does not use power hence a large section of industrial workers employed in small industries do not have legal protection in their work similarly the shops and establishments act that grants protection in term of regulation of work wages and post retirement benefits applies to only those establishments employing more than 5 workers here again the term worker refers to a permanent worker and not temporary or casual worker hence if a shop or factory employs permanent workers that are below the minimum number and alongside employees three times the number of casual laborers it will not come under any of the acts the self employed also form a sizable group these are workers engaged in home based production casual day laborers and street vendors etc while there are estimates of the number of street vendors there are no estimates of home based workers as they constitute an invisible section of the workforce india has still now not ratified the ilo convention on home based work one of the main features of this convention is of maintaining a live register of home based workers this helps to understand the numbers involved and also in providing for social security we can thus see that the composition of the labor force in india shows wide contrast the bulk of the country's labor force is engaged in the, the formal sector informal sector the 1991 census noted that the total working population in the country was 317 million of which 290.2 million was in in the informal sector while only 26.8 million 8.5% was in the organized sector the earning of the workers in the two sectors differed considerably though the organized sector employed only 8.5% of the total labor force the workers collectively earned around 33% of the country's total wages and incomes composition of workers in the informal sector showed that an overwhelming majority was in agricultural area there were 75 million agricultural workers and 110 million small and marginal cultivators who are 
also engaged as agricultural labor therefore there were around 100 million workers in the non farm rural sector and urban unorganized sector the association has changed since the census of 1991 in the same year on 21st july the government placed before parliament the new industrial policy statement which proposed restructuring of industries this was in tune with policies of structural adjustment in the wake of globalization though these policies led to some increase in employment they also encouraged downsizing of large industries outsourcing of manufacturer to small scale industries and a decline of employment in the formal sector a report of the ministry of labor government of india has given the figure for 2000 based on the report of the national sample survey organization nsso it carried out a sample survey 55th round in 1999-2000 and its results showed that out of total workforce of 97 million only 28 million workers are employed in the organized sector and remaining in the unorganized sector this means that a decade after reforms were introduced employment in the formal sector and has been almost stagnant or slightly declined the economic survey of 2004 and 5 states that total empo- employment in the formal sector on 31st march 2003 was 27 million In other words employment declined by 1 million since 2000 moreover there seems to be no change in employment in terms of numbers from the 1991 this means that a decade after reforms were introduced employment in the formal sector has been almost stagnant or slightly declined The informal sector on the other hand has grown tremendously. One of the reasons for the decline of the formal sector is closure of the public sector enterprises. In 1993 around 70% of the workers in the formal sector are employed in government, quasi government and public sector enterprises. this proportion fell by 1% in 2003 the economic survey for 2004 and 5 notes that in march 2003 the public sector employed 69% of the workers in the formal sector in fact the formal sector employment fell by 1% because of a decline in public sector employment of 0.8% the private sector provides employment to only 30% of the labor in the formal sector now let us wind up the session and take rest thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self learning podcast